Hey guys, how you doing? Here is my new sharpener that I made. It's a Ameribraid design, which utilizes a digital meter here for your angle. So what you do is you put your angle finder onto your platen and zero it out which my platen goes all the way down if I want, but this is just a good comfortable position. And then you stick it onto your sharpener and that'll tell you the degree that you're putting onto the blade. And when I flip this sharpener over, you can find the degree of the other side of the blade, which <clears throat> this is just being tested on 19 degrees. This is a piece of 15 and 20. I need to sharpen this blade now that it's ready. And uh, it's 0.6 millimeters fatter than this. So I will have to make a shim that is... 0.3 millimeters to go here in between where the rod meets the clamp because as the knife gets thicker I have to add shims here because here all through center this here has to be centered with this rod here at all times so the fatter your knife gets, the more it's gonna pull away. So you're gonna have to shim it. So I need to make a 0.3 millimeter shim, which I have some aluminum I'm gonna make shims out of, but it will be, I will use really thin nickel shims to get it exactly to 0.3 because you always want it perfectly in center because if it's off one way or another, your sharpened edge is gonna be off. So that's how you make it perfect. Now how this works, like I said, this is a design that Ameribraid came up with, which the owner of Ameribraid actually sent me these wheels a couple years ago when I designed them. He asked me if I needed a six inch wheel and I said yeah because he liked my videos and he gave me you know permission to make anything that they have so this is their design but as you see I put my logo on it with just paint with my stamp but it's the same concept just a little different the very tip of the teeth I've got some sticky foam in there that's stuck to it and it holds it so it doesn't scratch it and it's really firm and tight you see it's wider here and close there. You can adjust this nut in and out for wider knives. And yes, the nail is still in my finger. I can't bend my finger. It's not coming out for another couple weeks, actually. Longer than I thought, but that's okay. It's healing. It's almost there. But you undo, undo these and you put your shims inside here and clamp it to the size of the knife. And then you'll get a perfect edge every time. So this unscrews, when this unscrews, this comes out. When I loosen this. Oh, the phone's a little stuck, but that's okay. Get the sticky foam in there. So you loosen it to the thickness of the blade and then you push this down make it tight you don't want to make it tight when it's in like that because it'll just spit the blade out you got to make it tight at a slight angle like that but now I can make however thick of a blade that I want with the sharpener and it's gonna hold up just nicely but there it is for now it's uh, got a pretty good angle on it. But that's my design for now. The tool rests, just a cheap 
little fixed rest for small knives, but I'm gonna make a real longer one. And I made this, you see, when, when you're sharpening, going back and forth, you hold your finger on there to keep it flat and run across there. And if you wanna go with the curved edge, you, you rock on it. Now you can hold it like this with the handle here and slide it and curve it or you can hold it by the knife handle. It's all, it's all up to you, but that's what the knob's for. Hold it here with the rest and go back and forth when you're sharpening. And it, like I said, you got your curves, you know. I have to make a shim and I have to get mine ready for the knife. But for now, that's what it's looking like. But yeah, I'm gonna take a longer rod and make a, a real longer rod. The difference I made for this one was flat on this side. So I can take this off, take this off, flip it over, and then it'll be flat on that side, super flat for doing like long swords. That's why I'm gonna make a really long rest for, you know, longer stuff. But this is long enough for just most of the stuff that I make. But you guys take care and uh, hope for better days for everybody. You guys take care. Ciao.